Guys, it looks like Utah just got destroyed and is currently getting more destroyed. Look at this place. First snowstorm in the new house. <laughs> and it's a bad one. Decided I'd come out here and see if I can shovel the driveway a little bit before we have to leave. We're flying to Portland today and thank goodness our U-Haul truck and Micah has already made it there. This is deep guys, I got my big old muck boots on and this is some deep stuff man. If I remember right, I still have my shovel. Dang, too bad I don't have time to get my four-wheeler out. This could be the first time I plow my driveway with my snow plow on my four-wheeler. Man, is it nice having all my stuff in a big old garage and not outside and a little tarp shack like it used to be. I'm gonna see if I can get rid of some of this stuff so when Martin pulls up, doesn't pack it down. We made enough room just for Martin and his rig to pull up to get me for the airport. You got some space in there? Yeah, got my snowshoes. No way. <laughs> this guy's ready to go. We're ready. All right, so instead of calling an Uber, we're taking the beast because guys, look, there's been cars going by. There's a car that got stuck up there. But look how much snow there is still on the roads. How are the other roads with the lake? Still pretty bad. Bad? Yeah. So we're not gonna put our faith into an Uber. Uh, we're just gonna put our faith in me. Bomb in the tundra. Let's go, I'll go get my stuff. Good thing Martin's got the 4x4. Four four. Woo! <laughs> I haven't seen a storm like this. Can you imagine what the mountains are? Oh, it's gotta be. Dude, the poor deer and elk. Especially and the foothills, probably. They had it pretty easy, like. Up till now, it's been a pretty mild fall, like all the snowpacks up high, mm -hmm. but the foothills are melted off, so they've had it easy up till today. Well, the goal is to get to the airport in one piece. <laughs> well, this is our current situation, trying to get to the airport to fly to Portland. Martin and I were gonna Uber, but I said, Martin, I don't think we can trust an Uber. Sacrifice my truck. <laughs> all the miles. No. on your truck. I'd rather drive this than be in a little car with an Uber driver. Yeah, you guys know how trust. Uber goes. They're usually little tiny economy cars. Storm hit way hard today and uh, last night here in Salt Lake and put down anywhere from like, I don't know, six to 12 inches in the valley, which is gonna delay old Logan and Casey coming down from uh, Idaho. So they're gonna miss the flight and they had to rebook, reschedule for a later flight. So hopefully they can get down and get to Portland. But here's kind of the situation. We're going to Portland for the Sportsman's Expo. We've got my buddy Micah from Hidden Instinct Channel. He volunteered so graciously to drive the U-Haul from Salt Lake to Portland and he's already there thank goodness he missed this big storm that was a big deal and he was really watching the weather close we're gonna fly there we're gonna do some daily vlogs while we're at the at the expo for you guys show you guys around and, and uh, all the new stuff we're doing so welcome to the sportsman's expo vlog series The new whip riding in the Denali, dude. This is fancy. It might be the same rig as last year, like, like the exact like, same rig. Literally the same vehicle we rented last year. Look at that dash. I just can't really surprise we even are here right now. Yeah, with that snowstorm we had to deal with. Wicked snowstorm. I'm impressed, so kudos to the uh, Utah Department of Transportation for clearing the roads and uh, all the maintenance workers at Salt Lake International. They cleared an amazing amount of snow in a short period of time. We'll see if Casey and Logan make, make it today. Though. Yeah, hopefully they make it. They got a 3 p.m. flight. Here we go, we're heading to the expo. Sounds like Micah has already got the U-Haul over to the expo and completely unloaded. I don't know how he did that or who he got to help him with because those bull elk were big and really heavy. But uh, he sent a picture, all the carpets laid out and most of the fixtures are out and the bull elk are at the booth. So that's a huge help. So thank you, Micah. Right behind the groom transportation bus. Big old river. 
Columbia River, dude. God, you gotta know your geography. You the Columbia it? River. I'll put it on the story. Due north, Washington, state of Washington. On the other side? Uh huh. This is the boundary? The river is, yeah. Yeah. If we can ever get a green light, I'll show you guys the Columbian River. Not the Columbian. <laughs> what? Dude, it's the Columbia. Columbia. Well, Columbian, you know, a Columbia is a Columbian. See, right? that, that bridge takes you right to Vancouver. That's a uh, government island is what it's called right there. That thing? Yeah. Well, see you later, government island. A lot, lot of uh, salmon steelhead to run up this river. Wow, it's a nice day though. A lot better than where we came from. Columbia River, ladies and gentlemen. Portland, everybody. Wow. Growing up here, for those that don't know, I lived in Oregon for like 30 years of my life. It was a beautiful city. Unfortunately, times have changed. There's a lot of squatters, a lot of uh, narcotic user crackheads doing this kind of business right there. Look at that. And it is like everywhere in Portland. It seems to get worse every time we come back to. Uh, behind the scenes of the the expo it's always kind of fun to see these shows come together in such a short amount of time like either two or three days of setup and this thing will go from blank to chuck full with all these boats machines and some pretty cool rigs and uh, all this stuff comes together so quickly it tears down even faster come Sunday but our booth if you guys are coming to Portland it is in the sea hall we're gonna go check it out last year we were kind of in like a almost like a tent type of deal we were part of the show but we weren't in one of the big buildings this year we're in one of the big buildings so we go find it and, and uh, start setting up right. here's all our stuff Micah got it all unloaded and the first look at B Max Bull Whew, that turned out good. Look at that. You guys remember this video when B Max stuck that bull with his bow? Then you got Braley's big old bull. Here's Micah. What's up, dude? Good job driving and getting everything unloaded. Yep. Thanks. There it is, Braley's big old rifle bull. That's cool they ever keep the velvet. Got all the guys at Monarch Mountain Taxidermy mounted both. That pretty uh, pedestal, huh? Yeah, some really cool habitat on this one. Dude, we made it. Tight, bro. We made it, yeah. How's how that drive? Sucked. It's like three hours. It took us almost. So we had to drive from Pocatello to Hotel Salt Lake to be on the plane. I had to push our flight back. So we got a foot of snow last night. It normally takes me about two hours and 15 minutes to get to the airport. It took me three and a half hours today. Remember the storm last year? It's always during this expo. Snowmageddon, but Snowmageddon. we got it. Snowmageddon was in Utah this yeah, year. Yeah, so hopefully it doesn't hit here. Yeah, so this is the first time Casey's oh, seen no, his I daughter's see elk, so let's see what he thinks. Yeah. First impression, guys. Wow. We got pedestals, right? I told Curtis, I said, I'm not giving you any direction. Like, she'll be good with whatever. I want you to just kind of run with it. And this is what he came up with. Crushed it. Crushed it. When they're done with it, I want to. Yeah, you might have a career. Yeah. Yeah. I'm looking into hardcore carpentry. You can put that in my living room. Okay. Exactly what I'm looking for. Day two of setup. This is the stuff you guys don't get to see the fun part of traveling and shaking a lot of hands. Did you take your dosage? I took a double dosage. I might overdose. I need a dosage. What's that Mountain Ops you brought? These are the single, oh, these are straight to mouth, right? Yep. yep. STM, straight to mouth stick pack. Let me get this on focus, guys. That's what you want right there. there. It's got some elderberry something or another. It's got a bunch of vitamin C. Like a pixie stick style, you guys 
uh, dump that in your mouth and eat it up. <laughs> right on the hat. God. They're actually really good. What flavor? Citrus orange. Oh yeah, perfect. Almost tastes like a green orange cream or... I'm saving one for the show. Well, here's the daily program. Usually we got this thing chuck full. I know. Remember it's last year? We had like nine guys in here. No, <laughs> never mind, we only had seven. We wear seatbelts. BMAC is always, <laughs> always a driver. Just BMAC a... looks straight out of like Portland. An Uber driver from Portland. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like a roadie in a band <laughs> yeah. with a hoodie and a beanie on. Here's the current situation. We got to our booth. We still have a lot of work to do. We got some banners to hang here, some more shirts to fold. Get the vacuum out, of course, put the final touches on this place. But here's the current situation of the booth. That's our booth. Well, since folding shirts and doing all that kind of stuff is really no fun for you guys to watch, I'll just give you guys an update when we get our booth together. So, this place is gonna look a lot different in three, two, one. Okay, we're done with the booth, guys. We're gonna give you a walk around, show you the final, the final booth. Final product. It's funny. We've done this how many times now? You see, eight, oh, nine. Dude, a lot, yeah. It's always changes just a little bit. Just a little bit, and we never have a game plan going into it. No. We literally just get here, start piecing everything together, and then laying it out where we think it gives uh, you guys a good chance to come through and have some space to shop around look at the taxidermy and see a little bit of everything so we're gonna do a full walkthrough this right here is uh, it's shoppable but it's mainly our back stock inventory that we can put out each day when things start to get low we've got a sale rack all these hats are on sale all this apparel is on sale and then the big old hat wall like usual this is all bent brim, bent brim. It's all bent brim on this side a lot of people say why don't you sell more bent brim this is all bent brim we got what you want on this side Kids, this is all youth hats, so you can see they're really small. Oh boy. Oh jeez. Always trying to get a shout out. Here, do you want a shout out? Shout it out, you know yeah, you, you want guys. It. Follow me. Um hashtag hush life. That's something I came up with a long time ago. It means a lot to me. Uh, my channel is Eric Chester Outside. My other one's called Casey Levine on YouTube. So subscribe to all my channels um, and tag me in all your posts for shout outs. <laughs> Ben always getting a always getting a plug, but he gave us a plug. Uh, we got onesies. Onesies. You're gonna have a child or have a small child come down and get you a onesie, or get your child a onesie. You probably won't fit in it. I don't think those are gonna last long. So if you do want one, you better come and get one because we had them for Christmas and they sold out quick. Women's another thing people always say. Why don't you have guys have more women's stuff? We have quite a bit of women's stuff this year. Got a crew neck, a hoodie. Got t-shirts. All ladies right here. Four different styles of ladies. And then youth. And then youth. I think this is our best selection of youth we've had. We have a camouflage hoodie, a black shirt, and an army green shirt. So those are all youth sizes. We got Eric Bolt, Buck, Brian Buck, Eric Shed, Eric Shed, Eric Shed, <laughs> Eric Bull, Brian. Uh -oh. Are you guys noticing uh -oh. something here? Oh, what's this one? Eric's Bull. Eric's Bull. Why, Brian's Bull. Why don't you guys ever make stuff about like my animals? Oh yeah, I didn't kill any animals this year. We're gonna actually have some Braley stuff at the Salt Lake Show. That bowl. So then, other side of the hat rack. These three, these three rows are only our flat brim. We didn't bring a lot of flat brim to Portland, just because how they did last year. But we yep. have way more for Salt Lake. Check this out. We had them once before and sold out. So figure we bring them in for Expo season. Etched with the Hush logo. All the pyro putty stuff is awesome, guys. If you haven't used it. I mean, even if you take a small one, it's no bigger than like a, a thing of Carmex. Anybody uses Carmex still? Also new this year, we've sold the green ones. Wristbands, we've got gray this year. Hush life, hush life. Yeah, bring your kids by, we'll give them a, a free bracelet. It's more apparel, so the hoodie section, all the hoodies on this rack, and then all the crew necks and long sleeves on this rack. That's our booth for the year, guys, at the PDX show. So if you're in town or around, come see us. We'll be here Wednesday through Sunday, 11 till 8. Come say hi, hang out. Let's go eat some fish. Let's go eat some fish.
Dude, how about that? That feels so nice right here. Oh, yeah. The heat. Guys, this is our Airbnb. Last year when we came to Portland, we, we rented this same house. It's like kind of crazy just to be back a full year later doing the same exact thing that we did last time. Just hang out and work the show. Casey's man in the grill. We did the exact same thing the first night we were here last year. Did we do salmon last year? We cooked salmon on the grill first night. So I think we're about, I think we're there. We're gonna pull it out, take it inside, grub up. Casey makes a mean teriyaki salmon. This is where I got my recipe. It's from Casey. It's no camp chef, but it'll work. Look what else this place has. Hot tub. Hot tub. Oh, I even looked at the hot tub. Yeah, I'm getting in that. That sounds inviting. 